Howdy ho, Facebook. Ooh. Boy, this uh, painter's tape don't want to come off, do it? Fucking piece of dog shit, man. There we go. Here's what that black paint looks like on that handle right there. Callum says, Yo, Josh, happy Canada Day. Is it Canada Day today? Well, shit. I will say this. Canada has a nice clock tower. Yes, they do. Up there in their little world peace building, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Canada has this clock tower with this giant ass carol on. Canada's got the clock tower with this giant ass carol on sitting in it. You know the one I'm talking about. Ho 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 ho! Yo, the handle on this. Hey Josh, what's the weather like in Wyoming right now? Um, weather in Wyoming's pretty decent. The Parliament Building, yes, Death Maine knows the building I'm talking about. Canada's Canada's Parliament Building. The clock tower they have on the Parliament Building in Canada, it's fucking massive. And on top of it being massive, Canada also has legal weed. Like, goddamn, dude. I'm just saying. Hmm. Well, on the handle, I'm going to end up wrapping a little bit of copper wire down here and then like one or two strains and then kind of all the way up huh hell yeah death main says i live like four blocks away from the clock tower in canada damn bro <laughs> that's crazy shit man hell yeah so you already know when that clock tower goes off. Watch the fireworks online tonight at Parliament, man. It's insane. The entire clock tower has a big projection on it. Hell yeah. That's what's up. God damn, it's not even dark out and this fucker's already glowing. 
like I'm sitting here rotating it. I stick it underneath my desk and it glows up a little bit. That's crazy. Callum Nell Ryan says, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Never thought I'd see the day pot would be legal. Oh, in Canada? Yeah. I heard from the grapevine that if Canada legalizes weed, then Wyoming's next. That could just be a rumor, but you never know. <laughs> I did hear from the grapevine that I guess if Casper or if if Canada legalizes their weed, then Wyoming's next. But that could just be a rumor. It'd be nice if it was true, though. I heard as soon as Canada legalizes pot that Wyoming is going to be next. That could just be a rumor, though. I don't know. But I did hear from the grapevine that as soon as Canada legalizes pot that Wyoming is going to be next. <coughs> so I don't know if it's true or not, but what I do know is yeah, this scepter is coming together very, very nicely. I repainted this entire section. This little section from here to here. Oh, yeah. I'm liking the way that looks. I put more glow-in-the-dark spray paint right here where the crystal's going on the head here. And it's not even daytime. Okay, it is it is daytime. I meant to say it's not even dark outside. I don't know why I got my fucking words mixed up, but that's all right. <laughs> that's pretty sad when you wake up and you're still a little bit <laughs> from the night before. But check this out. I hold the staff, or the, did I say staff? I meant scepter. God damn it. There I go again, mixing up my fucking words like a fucking retard. But I, I don't even have to, like, I hold the scepter back, and I can see it glowing just from rotating it in the natural light. Like, that's some pretty powerful glow in dark spray paint, yo. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm barely even, oh, shit. I should not have touched that while it was still drying. Stupid fuck. Ugh. But yeah, this glow in dark spray paint is still drying. I did put another coat on there just for the hell of it. And it's almost done drying. Scratch that, it's still drying. But. Yeah, I'm liking the way the scepter's coming together. You got the classic black and white wand look going with this thing. And the rest of this is getting podged as soon as this right here is done drying. I need to set this down on some paint cans. Just like that. The paint's still wet, but it's dry enough that it's not going to drip all over the place. Oh, fucking hiccups, man. Goddamn. But yeah. That $54 scepter is just about done. 
After the paint's done drying on the scepter, I'm going to podge the rest of it. Then once I'm done podging it, it will be done for the most part, except for the quartz crystal and the copper wire, which I can get that. I can get that in about two days. I'll be going to uh, the Home Depot and the Wonder. I'll, I'll be going to the Wonder Magic Shop and slash gift shop. And then I'll be going to Home Depot as soon as... Fuck these hiccups. I'm seriously over it right now. Like, God damn it, dude. I sit here trying to carry on an intellectual conversation. I fucking sit here and try to carry on a decent conversation in every fucking five seconds. <laughs> Fuck hiccups. There we go. Sorry about that. I hate getting the hiccups, dude. Like, I'm sitting here trying to carry on a fucking conversation with my Facebook fans, and every five seconds I hear... It's like, fuck hiccups, dude. Straight up. God, dude. Like, put the cigarette out on my fucking wrist. Just... That's how much I fucking hate hiccups. That's how much I fucking hate hiccups. Whew. You can tell I haven't had my first cigarette of the day. I'm in a cranky ass mood. Hold on a second. Like, geez, dude, you're more cranky than a Model T. Calm the fuck down. I'm just saying I fucking hate hiccups. I'm already kind of in a pissy mood because of that scepter I've been working on has been fighting me since I created it. The crystal hole for the crystal took like four tries to make. No bullshit. The crystal hole for that scepter took like four tries to make. And I fucking cut my fucking hand making it. But at least I didn't get blood all over the place. And at least I got the, the fucking crystal hole for that scepter. You know what I'm saying? Drilled out. Callum says, remember that guy on The Simpsons who had the fucking hiccups for like 15 years? Oh, dude. What kind of hell is that? That is just... Oh, dude, fuck that. Why? Like, fuck that, dude. Could you stay in my fucking hand, you fucking piece of shit? I, you know what? I want to light this before I fucking snap someone's neck. Hold on a second. Let me just light that before I snap somebody's neck. Callum says he was asking everybody to kill him, LOL. It was funnier on The Simpsons show. I mean, yeah, from a comedic standpoint, yes, dude. 100% you're watching The Simpsons and this poor bastard's had the hiccups for like 15 years and he's asking people to kill him and shit like that. It's funny. That's just how cartoons like that do, you know.
I'm trying to work on my temper. I've gotten a lot better and not like flipping out. If you think this is bad, you should have seen me about four or five, six months ago. I mean, my temper is not completely gone away, but it's a lot better at least. Hell yeah. Johnny says, Hey Josh, I got a Fender Squire painting it black and green in your honor, brother. Hell yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, you can paint it whatever color you want, but if you want to paint it black and green, that's cool too. I mean, I painted my BC Rich and my Fender black and green, and it looked nice. Uh, well, I kind of deleted my video I made yesterday. I don't know. Because apparently it, I got a little too blackout drunk and fucking right after the Elvis Presley video song, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> like right after the fucking... Elvis Presley song. I woke up and all I can remember is passing out. Well, I will do YouTube live when I'm allowed to. Right now I got a YouTube live ban for a copyright strike, so... No, that's the funny thing is I, I didn't puke. I think I might have ended the live stream and then called into bed and passed out. I woke up and I'm like, the fuck? Like, I'm watching the end of that video, and I'm seeing me do the Elvis Presley cover, and then I go to, I might have been, I don't know, dude. But yeah, I've been trying to work on my temper, man. It's not easy when you're used to like flipping out about every little thing that goes wrong. I mean, when you're used to like flipping out about every little thing that goes wrong, you know what I'm saying? And it it, take, it takes a bit of, it takes a while, you know. I'll be the first to admit it, I have a nasty temper. And I've been trying to work on it, Facebook. Parker Jackson asked a very good question. He said, what steps are you taking to manage your anger? That's a good question. Um, well, I try to go to my happy place. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a happy person, so I know that sounds weird. Well, if you're not a happy person, then how can you go to your happy place? It's like, well, I picture a field full of cannabis, 
I think I picture a field full of cannabis and hot naked goth chicks. Straight up, I know it sounds cheesy as fuck, but I picture a field of hot naked goth chicks and cannabis, and it's calming in a sense. Yeah, that works too, you know. Johnny says, just rem always remember to take a 10-second breather and remember everything is temporary. Yeah, no shit. That's the problem with life is everything is temporary. You know, you think, oh, I got a girlfriend. Fucking sweet. That's temporary. Oh, I got a fucking job that I like working at. Sweet. That's also temporary. Because eventually you're going to retire or get fired or quit. One of the three. Uh, Albertson Netside says... The supply of big titty goth girlfriends doesn't match the demand. No shit. <laughs> no shit. I can appreciate a nice ass on a girl, but I'm I'm kind of a I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a boob man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I can appreciate a cute girl all around, but I'm kind of a boob man to be honest. <laughs> like I can appreciate a cute ass on a girl I'm just saying I can appreciate a cute girl all around but <laughs> Johnny's like we know you're a titty man Josh <laughs> oh shit If women want to call me a pig for being a titty man, I'm just like, well, where's my badge, first of all? Second of all, you want to call me a pig, but how many women love big cocks? Straight up. Straight the fuck up. I'm preaching the fucking truth right now. Women, women get so pissed off when men like big boobs. Oh, you hear it from hills to the fucking valley and back. Oh, men are just pigs because they like big boobs. Well, excuse me, but does that make you a cunt because you like big cock? Fuck you, bitch. Want to get pissed at me for having standards? Fuck you. Straight up, fuck you. Oh, well, you like big boobs. You're a typical guy. You're such a pig. I'm, I'm a pig for having standards. Fuck you, bitch. You have standards, too. Shit. And that's what pisses me off about women anymore is the hypocrisy. Like, I'm all good with women. I love getting pussy when I can get it. And even if I can't get pussy, I love hanging out with women. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> straight up, if I get friend zoned, oh fucking well, I don't care, you know? I'm at that point in my life where I don't care if I get friend zoned or not. At least I got a chick talking to me, that's better than nothing, you know what I'm saying? But for real though, I hate the fact, that, like if women want to give me shit for having standards, it's like, you better fucking examine your own shit for a second, chicky. Because you have standards, too. Otherwise, you wouldn't reject me if you didn't have standards, like, straight up. Straight up. You wouldn't reject me if you didn't have standards. So, you want to sit there and give me shit about having standards? It's like, <laughs> hold on a second.
Yeah. Johnny says, double standards, man. It's just how life is. Yeah, Johnny, you're preaching to the fucking choir. A chick can get a sex toy and no one bats an eye, but if I got a sex doll, everyone would be like, Ew, that's so creepy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be right back. Facebook, I got to take a shit. I don't want to do it on camera, so I'll be right back.